This is Armenia. Such an amazing country that's not talked about enough. I want to shed some light on this place. With some of my favorite places. So here's the top 10 kicking it off with the capital city, Yerevan. Also known as the Pink City due to its pink architecture. It gets its pinkish color from a lava rock called Tooth. The beautiful architecture in the city just makes it super pleasing to just walk around and enjoy yourself. You can easily get lost in the streets, the buildings, all the amazing statues and paintings on the wall. Yerevan is a super, super artistic city, which is one of the reasons why I love it. And something artistic to check out is the Cascade Complex. It is an amazing art museum on the inside and surrounded by sculptures. This is probably the biggest attraction in Yerevan. This thing is huge with 572 steps, super tiring to get to the top. Yerevan is a very historic city with very old buildings, even fortresses, and lots of museums. One of my favorite things about the city is the amount of parks that is here. And don't get me started on the food scene here. There are so many international foods here that I was really surprised. And of course, do not forget to try traditional Armenian cuisine. It is delicious. And the sweets as well. Check out the Armenian dried fruit. It is a specialty here. I can keep going on and on about Yerevan, but there are so many awesome day trips you could take from within the city. And that brings me to my next one on the list, Garni Temple. This is the only standing Greco-Roman building in Armenia and the former Soviet Union. It is located in the village of Garni in central Armenia. And this is a symbol of pre-Christian Armenia, which means it's pretty old and perhaps some say this isn't a temple but a tomb so I can't really say much about this temple but all I know it is super awesome to visit and just to experience this place it is surrounded by amazing mountains the scenery around it is just beautiful you just have to see it for yourself If you didn't know, Armenia was the first country to adopt Christianity. Which brings us to our next one. Number three on the list is Etch Mirzin, the oldest cathedral in the entire world. Built in 301 AD, also called Mother Church of Armenia. Unfortunately, I didn't get too many shots while I was there, but that just leaves more for you to see. Number 4, we have Dili John, the Switzerland of Armenia. If you ask any Armenian, they will tell you this is their favorite place. And for a good reason, this place is just beautiful. Dense forests and huge mountains is why it gets its nickname. For nature lovers, this is a dream come true. But it's more than just nature. Be sure to check out Hagartsen Monastery. Built in the 13th century made of three different churches. Only a half hour away, we have Lake Savan, the largest body of water in the Caucasus region and one of the highest altitude lakes in Eurasia. At 1900 meters above sea level. So why should you visit Lake Savan? This place is just absolutely breathtaking, from beaches to swim at to picturesque waterfront churches you just cannot miss. 
to strange shaped buildings, to ancient tombs, and great mountains to climb and to get the best view ever. What's not to love here? Be sure to try out the fresh baked gata while on Savan Island. Super delicious. Mm. Number six, Giormi. Just like Yerevan is a pink city, this is the black city. And it lives up to its name. This is the second most populated city in the country. Only a few kilometers away from Turkey, this is a great city just to walk around and enjoy the dark architecture or get some shopping done at the markets. This area is known for a treat called panchik, which is basically a super fluffy donut. Super delicious. Don't forget to check out the Black Fortress or Sevbird, which is a abandoned Russian Imperial Fortress. Next on the list is Kor Varap, and what makes this monastery stand out is the amazing backdrop of Mount Ararat, which is believed is the mountain that Noah's Ark landed on top of. Definitely a beautiful view. It's said that Gregory the Illuminator was imprisoned here for 14 years. The church is just as beautiful on the inside as it is the outside. I wouldn't leave this one off your list. Number 8, Tatev Monastery from the 9th century. My absolute favorite place in Armenia. You really can't beat a sunrise here. Just the surroundings, everything is beautiful here. The view of the church is amazing. The view from the church is amazing. And the view inside the church is amazing. The way the light shines through the window is just amazing surreal. Don't forget to check out the Wings of Tatev, the longest non-stop double track cable car in the world. When I went, it was snowy and completely foggy, so I wasn't able to enjoy the views, but hopefully you will. If you haven't noticed by now, Armenia's nature is beautiful, and this next one does not disappoint. Shaki waterfalls and I added this one to the list specifically because just about anybody could do this and I want everybody to experience some of Armenia's nature. Now this trail is just nice, short, sweet, peaceful with streams on the side the whole way down and at the end you just come and see this epic epic waterfall which blew me away. So be sure to check this one out. Last on my list is what blew me away the most. Karahunj, which translates to speaking stones. This is also known as the Armenian Stonehenge for, well, obvious reasons. I was absolutely speechless of how amazing it was to witness and experience this place. I'm really surprised I've never heard of it and nobody is talking about this. Now this site is believed to be used as astronomical rituals, but nobody really knows. So it's a little bit of a mystery. And those are my favorite places in Armenia. Overall. This is an amazing country, and I just hope everybody can experience it just like I have. If you guys have any recommendations for other places in Armenia that I didn't put in this video, please, please comment them down below. I would love to hear from you and check them out on my next trip down there. Thank you for watching. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe. For future videos. Until next time guys, stay up the beaten path.